We all struggle to give our students appropriate and meaningful feedback without bogging ourselves down in hours and hours of writing. You may have noticed that one of the ways I give feedback is by video. I find that for what I'm doing, because I can actually show students their programs or their websites and make changes to it while I talk about it, that gives both better quality and better quantity of feedback because I don't want to write out describing what I see on screen. It's much easier for me to talk, but sometimes I do provide written feedback. And one of the tools that I'm using is called Text Expander. It is, there is a cost for it. It's been worth it to me. I've had it for about a year now. And you'll know that this is something you should look at if you have a, um, if you do a lot of copying and pasting. So let's see. You can, I use it for myself. You could get a team, you could get enterprise, whatever. This is what I use. It's 333 a month. I bill it yearly. Completely, totally worth it. It follows me around from any of my computing devices so that I have it installed. I have four computers I use regularly. I have two Macs and I have two PCs, um, laptop, desktop of each of those. Uh, and this has saved me a lot of time and the students like it because they get better feedback. So you can use it in Word. I usually use it in Canvas. I'm mostly using this in Canvas, but I have commands and I'll bring up my software in the list. So you can see I have different clips in here. And this one's my signature. So if I want to use it, you'll notice here, my abbreviation is Z-Sig. And that automatically puts it in here for me. At midterms, I have pre-done feedback depending on what they're getting. And so Z with a capital A, And then I'll fill in the actual percentage. And then I would have another one for like uh, ZD. And this is just something I do every semester in all my classes and being able to drop those in. Now this is case sensitive, but it's Z. No, no, it's not. Let me double check that. I don't think I did that case sensitive. ZD. Yep, it is case sensitive. Um, and so I have all sorts of things that I send out to students, like common errors. And so here, this would be, these are programming exercises, Z, X, and I'm telling them the, what their expectations are. So I just wanted you to see that because it's a good way to speed up your feedback and be consistent. And it's faster than copying and pasting on things that you use all the time. And I, I use multiple monitors. I've got three monitors in front of me. I usually have this on the side so that if I need to look it up, but typically I'm doing the same thing over and over in an assignment and I can quickly add new ones. So if I wanted to send, say I wanted to send something out on this class or to, um, And the one problem I have here is that Grammarly doesn't work in here. So usually I drop it into Word or web page, fix the grammar and drop it back. I'm slightly dyslexic and that gives me spelling errors. And you'll see with this and with, and so I would give it a label. I would give it an abbreviation. And I usually do Z adult and that would drop in the whole thing. Now, typically when I'm providing feedback, it's a combination of these keyboard shortcuts and individual things for that person. That's like with the midterm grades, you see that the message I send out is the same, but I actually go in and I look at the percentage. And when I'm doing that, I'm sending email from the grade book. 
because when you're in the gradebook view, if you click on a person's name, it will bring up on the side information on their last 10 assignments plus their current average and it will have a mail icon. So in the gradebook, I can send it directly from there. And um, I do that when I do my midterm grades every semester for all of my students. And so I've got most of it as a template and I, I change the key fields. This is something you might find helpful to make your feedback more meaningful and efficient and allow you to do a greater volume of feedback.